Hey everybody, uh, it's Cole from Flora Cash. I know a lot of us are in sort of self-isolation or some of us are actually in like quarantine and that can be a little bit lonely. People get a little bit stir crazy. So I think a lot of people are spending a lot more time online and you know, we're also self-quarantined. We're also isolated. So we're spending time thinking of things that we can do to reach you guys and make you feel less lonely. So one thing that I'd like to do is I've never seen anybody out there actually show how to play um, our song, You're Somebody Else, as it sounds or as it's played on the actual recording. So I figure who better to teach you than me. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to play it exactly like it is on the recording. And it's actually not that difficult. Most of the main riff is actually played really with just uh, two fingers down here. Your middle and your ring finger, and then also your ring finger and your pointer finger. So it's all on the sixth fret. Basically the shapes, if you wanted to do a very simplified version, the shapes are E minor, it's a C, a G, and a D. And I do actually play it with these kind of traditional voicings uh, live because it's a little bit easier. I don't have to look down at the guitar as much, but this is how you play it as it sounds on the recording. So you'll start out with your traditional E minor shape here. The strumming pattern or the picking pattern is like this. And really all I'm doing is like, I'm, I'm, usually, I'm actually using the A string as kind of the bass note because obviously we added the bass in later uh, for the recording. So it's like hit the bass note and then a down strum thing. That'll get you started. And then you move down here so that your ring finger is on the 11th fret on the D string and your pointer finger is on the ninth fret on the A string. Okay, and then you're gonna just put your middle finger there. So this one stays where it was on the 11th. So now these are both on the 11th. That is your middle finger and your ring finger. And then you, all you simply do is put your pointer here and pull your ring finger up. So now your pointer is on the 10th fret. And it's really that simple. So I'll just, now I'll just run through it really fast. And then you'll notice later on in the song to add some dynamic, it changes a little bit, but it's still the same shapes. So it's like, then it'll, every now and again, it'll. So that is how it sounds on the record. And just so you guys know, I also, when we do our acoustic version, sometimes we do a slowed down version of the riff that is really like finger picking picking. And I'll just show you guys what I do really fast for that. Same exact chord, same, but uh, slightly different shapes, more based on the traditional shapes. So we actually start out here with the regular E minor. And I actually, for this one, I just to give it a little bit of flavor um, to kind of make it unique, I put um, my pinky on the ninth fret of the, of the small E string and I sort of leave it here for a few, and then I do this finger picking pattern, and I'll do it really slow just so you guys can see it, and you can rewind and pause if you wanna know, but it's basically like. And I kinda of repeat that same pattern, and then I just, I go into the C formation, and I keep that pinky down there. And then I go to the G formation, keep the pinky. And then to a regular traditional D. And then I like to kind of pull off a little bit right here, like, so it's, this is basically what it is. And then also if you want to get a little bit fancy, like uh, sometimes when I do the acoustic version on the bridge, it sounds fancy to like people that are not super, super into the guitar and it's just a nice little trick to give it again some flavor, some spice. Uh, 
I don't know. I do it every time a little bit differently, but basically feel free to use the uh, pull-offs and the hammer-ons to kind of uh, just make it a little more interesting. Um, you know, because this song, uh, it's not like we did it on purpose, but this song really is a four chord song that just the the chords keep repeating. Sometimes simple is more effective, you know, it's like a blank canvas on which you can put all sorts of things. Some songs require chord changes a little more often to spice them up, but, but this song really, you know, you can just keep repeating these shapes and add your own kind of dynamics to them. It's pretty much that simple. So now you guys know how to play it. You're somebody else uh, a couple of different ways, but most importantly, you know how to play it as it sounds on the on the actual record. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Express and I would both love to see you guys doing a cover with the way that it sounds on the record. We would love to, we would love to see that. Stay safe out there. Just know that we're with you um, in, our, in our thoughts. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. We love you. Please, if you would, if you enjoyed this, like this video and subscribe to our channel because we're gonna try to do more stuff like this.